I like listening to music when I work, and in order to listen to music, I need to open up the Windows Media Player that will play any song that I have on my computer. Again, it's called the Windows Media Player, and it's down here in my Quick Launch toolbar, and you can see it when I hover over, it says Windows Media Player. Now, if you don't have it on your Quick Launch, you can always click on the Start button, and in the Instant Search field, type in Windows Media and then it starts pulling up at the top. There it is, Windows Media Player. Now, if you want to add it to your Quick Launch, well, first of all, make sure it's on your Quick Launch by right-clicking and going up to Toolbars and making sure you have this checked, your Quick Launch. Okay, and then come back in here, and here we go again, Windows Media. And then come up here, and what we want to do is you want to add this as a shortcut to the Quick Launch. You can click and drag it. I'm holding down my left mouse button, I clicked on it without letting it go, and then just hover over anywhere on your Quick Launch toolbar here, somewhere in between. You see that little white eye beam? The moment I let go of that, it'll add it right there to it, but I already have it, so I'm going to, well, let go of it. And because I let go in the middle of my desktop, it had the shortcut to my desktop instead of just down here on the Quick Launch, which is okay. I can go ahead and right click it and left click on delete so I can say yes and throw it right to the garbage can here. But since it's already on here, just one click and it'll open it up. Here's a list of all my songs here, which by the way, when you play songs and you go to your now playing, it plays little visualizations of bars or waves and stuff that basically kind of get me sick here. Well, if I want to turn it off, I can always right click and say no visuals. Anyways, that's a little quick tip, okay? So anyways, I'm playing my music, so let's go ahead and double click on one to begin playing it. So when I'm listening to my songs, I don't want this big screen in the way because I want to be working on my Word document or opening up other files and folders, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on the minimize button and minimize it to my taskbar here. Now the only problem with that is that if somebody walks into the office or I get a phone call, I have to click on this button to maximize it or restore it again and then come down to the controls down at the bottom and click pause and then talk to them. And I don't really want everybody to see what I listen to here. Of course, I'm very pleased with what I listen to, but in any case, what I want to do is I want to keep this private. And the way you can do that is basically adding the Windows Media Toolbar to your taskbar. Let me show you what that does. First of all, come down here on your taskbar and right click anywhere on it in a blank area and then come up here to toolbars and go over and click on Windows Media Player. When I click on it, it's going to add a check mark to it. Let me show you. Right click again, go up to toolbars and there it is, checked Windows Media Player. Now all that's going to do is that when I minimize this, instead of minimizing it as a button down over here on the left side of the taskbar or any other windows that I have, it'll put it right here as a button on the taskbar. It's going to minimize it over to the right hand side here, but give me these controls right here. For example, let me click minimize. See it didn't come over here on the taskbar as a button, it came over here, but it also gave me the controls here to play, to skip to the next song, and then it shows me and prompts me what the next song is, or I can skip back. Also I can go ahead and stop the song, or when somebody walks in, pause it, go ahead and talk to them. They can't see on my screen all the music that I'm listening to. And then finally, I can go ahead and restore this. You see that little button, lower right hand corner, click on the restore button. It just, boom, pops it right up in the screen, make any changes I want. Go ahead and minimize it again and just play with these little controls here without being in the way while I'm doing my work. Like opening up a new folder here. See, I can still work and skip around on my songs. If I find a boring one, just jump ahead. I'll close out of this folder here. And with any toolbar you add to your taskbar down below, if you don't want it anymore, just simply right click anywhere on the taskbar, go up to toolbars, and then go ahead and click on the one that's checked, automatically remove it. And in this case, instead of being over to the right hand side, it pops over to the left as a button without the controls. I like the way it is, so I'll right click, go back to toolbars, and check Windows Media Player option, minimize it. Now I can go ahead and listen to music while I train you. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.